Next one is question number six. Now here we have CH3, CH2, CH2 and OH with SOCl2 and we have pyridine as, you are, uh, as the reagent on the arrow. Now this is your question. You need to form a product for this. So first thing is you need to identify the function of this reagent. So in the start of the chapter, we had learnt certain preparation methods starting from alcohol whose reagents, the function of those reagents were chlorinating agents. So under chlorinating agents, we had learnt SOCl2, we had learnt PCL3, we had learnt PCL5 and so on. So SOCl2 is one of the chlorinating agent which means it is going to replace another leaving group in the compound. So here the Cl which is the chlorinating agent, Cl is what is going to come out, that Cl is going to replace the OH group in the uh, reactant. So when you write your product, this is going to be CH3, CH2, CH2 and the Cl. Now here what will happen is you will form from this since OH is going out this oxygen with SO will form SO2 sulfur dioxide. Of the two chlorine atom one chlorine atom has already replaced so you will be left out only with one chlorine atom. That chlorine atom will react with the hydrogen here to give HCl. So, whatever reagent you are using, all the elements are used up. One of the Cl from SOCl2 will replace the Cl to give your product. Another Cl from here is going to react with the hydrogen from the OH group to give you HCl. The oxygen from the OH and SO from the SOCl2 is going to give you SO2 gas. So, this reaction, this reagent here is called as thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine. Alright, so this compound, the reactant is called as butane 1 all or butanol. This, the product is going to be called as 1 chlorobutane. Alright, so this is your reaction for this. You need to write even the byproducts for this reaction.